Happy Friday at Fry Yay. Fry Yay. If there's ever a Fry Yay, it's today. Yo, DJ, welcome in, DJ. How you doing? Happy Friday, DJ. Happy Friday, Chica. Mr. White Spaz King. How's everyone doing today, my friends? I'm super excited today. Fry Yay. Fry Yay hype, right? <laughs> Yo, Red Sky. Good morning, my friend. Welcome in. <laughs> Is that a P? Is that a pink shirt? King, you are too fast, my man. Is that a pink king? Yo, Spaz, redeeming Uke Jam right at the beginning of the stream, my man. What should we play? What you want to jam to, Spaz? Ooh. Yo, Esther, good morning. So much Final Fantasy VII craziness happened yesterday. Like, I got home from work and just literally looked on Twitter and just immediately was like oh my god what the hell is going on <laughs> another full orbit i know right dj dj thank you seriously so much for the host oh my goodness you owe me happy birthday i want that spaz absolutely my friend we can do some happy birthday jo jams some jams some happy birthday jams <laughs> need that ps5 now i right right i mean i it, a lot of that stuff's coming out i think june so i imagine hopefully hopefully ps5 inventory should be better by then but yeah yeah it's really interesting they put yuffie just on ps5 like the dlc for it i feel like it really is just I feel like 7 Remake all along was meant for PS5, you know, and they just kind of downscaled a version of it to release early for PS4. What do y'all think about that? Anybody, anybody kind of get that vibe too? Yo, Kim, good morning. Welcome in, Kim. Plank, welcome in, my friend. How you doing? Another full orbit. Y'all, we got to sing happy birthday to the legendary Spaz. I, I feel, I feel pretty decent. I feel like I'm getting better. Um, I don't feel like I'm too sick, but... I mean, we can get pretty sick very quickly these days, right? So everybody, if you could do me a big solid and definitely, oh, that was for the pups. And definitely give Spaz big happy birthday love. You absolute legend. We gonna jam some ukulele happy birthday from a man. You're amazing Spaz. Appreciate the hell out of you, my friend. Hey, there we go. There we go. <laughs> be singing come on spaz happy birthday to you my man Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness happy birthday dude how you how you doing to spaz when was your birthday when was your birthday was it was it over the weekend maybe happy birthday hype i know right i know <laughs> <laughs> no singing i don't i don't usually sing chica um i mean i i don't know i don't usually sing not that i like don't think i could sing i guess i'm just not like super duper duper comfortable singing compared to like just playing it uh like music and instruments but maybe maybe one day maybe one day no zaf singing hold on here we go spaz happy birthday Mr. President, <laughs> I don't know if y'all want to hear Zeph singing. I don't. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Mother freaking birthday! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> and it's today! Oh what, Spaz? It's today, dude! Happy freaking birthday, you legend! I'm seeing the lolly emote. I'm seeing the lolly emote. Pink King. I feel like. I feel like I'm just gonna start calling you color of your name and then king so today we're pink king yesterday we were yellow king what is king gonna be tomorrow what is king gonna be tomorrow is tomorrow gonna be orange king maybe blue king 
<laughs> I mean, looking at the sub goal, we hit maybe a singing music stream. I I totally forgot about that until literally last night, right when I got home. King, kink, pink, king, king, pink, king, kink. Depends what color your shirt is. I love you, dude. <laughs> Did someone say music stream pajama princess Daisy the legend? Welcome in. Bring in more pink hype. Hell yeah, my friends. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> King no stink. King's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I totally like spaced on that until I got home, like right at home last night. Um, so we will definitely do a music stream probably like we could do piano stream we could do we could do like a whole entire we could do a whole entire ukulele jam stream but i think we'll do that like probably next week sometime so i can like prep for it a little bit because honestly yesterday was just total craziness i had no i have no idea what happened yesterday yesterday was just like a madhouse the last half hour of the stream <laughs> I started Hollow Knight as an indie Friday game and you still haven't gotten through it. Oh man, it's going to be like 2025 and we'll still be chugging through Hollow Knight. No, but but definitely tomorrow or not tomorrow, March. I'm definitely going to be starting some new games. I'm thinking I'm thinking we could do like maybe split it up. A couple people have said that it'd be fun to do like maybe Dark Souls two days and like Breath of the Wild two days. And then I do want to do a community day. That's a new thing I really want to kind of start doing is, is having like a community day in there for some multiplayer games. Maybe Mario Kart, maybe some Mario Kart hype. Ooh, should we do some catches spaz? All right, you see puppy Layla over here. She is ready to munch the crap out of these treats. You see her, y'all see her. They want this man stuck on the same game forever. Just become like an infinite Hollow Knight streamer. We're in like the year 2030. And we're just still playing Hollow Knight. It's like, I don't even remember what this game is about anymore. We're just jumping and whacking things. All right. Ellie, Ellie, we got to get Ellie too. Come here. Okay. We got the trio, my friends. Look at the fluffs. Oh my goodness. They're so cute today. I mean, they're always cute. I'm talking about your ting tong. I hope not. That would be very painful and very awkward. So let's definitely not do that. <laughs> Dude, Ice Cream Assassin, welcome in. Thank you so damn much for the lurk, my friend. Just in time for the puppy hype. Okay. Maybe Layla first. Get him. Oh, that was a bad catch. I think that I think that was a good throw. We'll blame that one on Layla. That was a bad catch. <laughs> Ellie, come here. Okay, we'll do Ellie first or Ellie next. Get him. Ooh, she got that right away. She's like, get in my belly. Golden Retriever Cerberus, and I love it, right? We got to do like some kind of like Cerberus emote or something. Oh, I totally forgot. I think I won during Super Mergen Troids, um, like his after party thing. We did a, a raffle giveaway, and I think I won an emote. I still got to reach out to the artist about that. Oh my God, that was like a week ago. I feel terrible, y'all. Bad Zeph, bad Zeph, but good boogeyman. Get it. Yes. Yes. Look at that munch, 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 munch. Dog will be like, give me the damn hot dog for real, right? But look at this little guy. Look at my little buddy. He's so cute. He's such a, so adorable. I think, yeah, maybe we could do, yeah, maybe like a Cerberus golden retriever emote. That would be interesting. That'd be pretty cute. Maybe like a triple, right? Look at this guy today. Are you extra cuddly? I I got up a little late and just kind of like rushed in here trying to get everything set up. So didn't have a moment to give him any cuddles and he's feeling it. He's like, why do we not cuddle more? <laughs> sure was giving them time to get other work done. Either way, right, right. I mean, a mode artist, like they, I know like they were just backed full with a lot of art. So yeah, definitely. Like I told my mode artist who's doing um, some new emotes right now, I told her like, take as much time as you need whether it takes a week two weeks a month i'm super patient we'll get them when we get them let's just make them perfect and don't overstress yourself it's totally fine so i'm not cute i'm scary no not not boogeyman he's he's a baby <laughs> no offense you're wonderful zeph but but the dog i mean but the doggos you know i think people come for the uh i definitely think people come for the doggos they're pretty cute 
Although sometimes Boogeyman gets a little full of himself. <laughs> so I could work, but they're on doggos. Oh, he looks so comfy. He's adorable. Ellie over here too. Ellie, you want to come say hi? I usually don't get Ellie over here too much. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Look at my little Ellie girl. She's adorable. I'm here for everything. Oh, damn, Spaz. I appreciate the hell out of you, man. Seriously, all of you so much. Thank you all. Like, I say it every stream, but really, really, thank you all so damn much for being here, my friends. Only here for the doggos. Oh, I don't blame you, Lolly. They're pretty cute. <laughs> By the way, Lolly, I did see that you messaged me on Discord. I haven't got a chance to read it yet, but I'll definitely read it right after the stream. Um, I would... Uh, it, days when I work like big full shifts it's I always feel like I struggle so much with getting so many things done you know I feel like if I if I do y'all kind of feel this a little bit like sometimes I feel like if I don't do something in discord and do something on Twitter and do something on Instagram and stream and pop in other streams I don't know I feel like it's a little easy to get overwhelmed you know just a little bit just a little bit sometimes it feels like it's a little tough to get overwhelmed so i think it's really important to always just take time for yourself to sit back to you know not overwhelm yourself people content creators and influencers influencers you know the like people who do like youtube and twitch and instagram and snapchat and just do like all of it I don't know how they do it like it's it's even on my days off it just feels like so much right <laughs> oh thank you for yesterday I can't wait to read it lolly I appreciate the hell out of you so much always my friend um it was yeah I it, yesterday I was like you know what we haven't raided lolly in a minute and I've been really 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 wanting to raid you and she just hit affiliate my god everyone you don't know how long we've been waiting for lolly lichen to hit affiliate so if you're not following lolly like do me big solid like seriously do me big solid right now if you can do one thing today definitely give lolly lichen big love she is 10 out of 10 amazing sauce like one of the greatest human beings in the entire universe in the entire multiverse in the entire multi multiverse there is no other like lolly like in my friends <laughs> gonna kick your any minute now well i hope not kim i hope not i i don't think i've done anything to uh to warrant that I'm, i mean unless having cute puppy dogs is a crime then lock me up <laughs> give me kids a bastard not chatting much oh chica you are totally fine my friend thank you just for being here thank you for bringing love i hope i hope the bath is going amazing man it's been at the place we used to live before we moved here we had like this big jetted tub and oh my goodness y'all once you get once you get like in a jetted tub it just like ruins every other bathtub afterwards like i can't take a bath in just the regular bathtubs now they're like oh man have you all ever experienced like jetted bathtub they're like one of the best things in the world yo golly welcome in golly how you doing the bringer of chaos is here <laughs> no you're too you're too sweet for that golly you're too wonderful how you doing today buddy oh man see i'm having an amazing partner let me talk it out and be super patient and loving yeah thalian is thalian and lolly they just might be the best couple on twitch i'm just saying i'm i'm just saying lose in touch with the common man using jetted tubs what what dude move it was because we used to live in like a house and then we ended up moving to like an apartment to try to save some money to buy a house which doesn't seem like it might be a thing so but yes having a jetted tub was was pretty damn wonderful it was great it was also great to not hit my head on the shower head because i'm so tall y'all don't know the the tall life struggles they're they're for they're so real <laughs> yo breezy good morning breezy what's it say welcome in legend i have a jacuzzi tub oh they're the best right not as good as a hot tub but they're but they're really good they're really really good come to my attention that COVID has made it it's way to my school oh no you be safe golly definitely take care of yourself my friend um yeah definitely take care of yourself you know i feel like with COVID and everything it's it's a little interesting why their kind of go-to is just kind of like totally getting like all the way over here on topic but like 
I feel like shouldn't people be like getting some sunlight maybe not necessarily with each other but like getting some sunlight getting some vitamin D exercising building their immune system eating healthy like essentially just doing everything in your power to like build your immune system rather than just like lock yourself in your living room and watch TV you know you know maybe multivitamins for the win right 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 I just I feel like the whole not everyone but some people are some people are just very much like stay inside lock close all the windows close the blinds lock everything down and it's like you know how how bad that is for like mental health how bad that is for your body to not get sunlight how bad it is for i don't know not saying you should go and you know jog a marathon right next you know in a huge group of people but like hiking taking your vitamins eating healthy getting some sunlight yeah i don't know i don't know i'm so over COVID. I, f I feel you so much sarah like 10 million percent like oh man i just can't wait for this all to be over it's there's something psychological really about like not seeing people's faces you know like not talk like seeing their facial expressions there's definitely something like mental that i don't know i don't know it feels like people more than ever are just scared of other people an anxiety of other people i don't know definitely just can't wait for this to all be over hopefully everything to you know be safe hopefully everyone to be just healthy all all of that for sure oh my goodness lolly what subbing at eight months oh my goodness yes with the baby emotes oh thank you so damn much lolly i appreciate the hell out of you so much with the baby rage with the baby rage <laughs> always had anxiety when it comes to other people honestly like i totally agree like there's something honestly about the six feet social distancing i feel like everybody has started to realize their six foot bubble you know because I've always kind of been like, you know, you're really close to me. Could we maybe have like a little space? Just a little bit. We don't need to be like shoulder to shoulder. I've always liked just having a little bit of space, you know. Let's see. Oh, it's raining here today. Nice, DJ. It's raining here as well. Just a little bit. Just some sprinkles. But rain is my favorite thing in the world. Rain is amazing. Let's see. We've already had it. So feel free now. <laughs> It's been challenging for my mind. It has been. I feel like I really hope there's not too many like people talk about like the the getting sick aspect of it but what about like the mental health aspect of it you know like I just hope I just can't wait for everything to be back to normal I think everybody can't man it's on my list D vitamin supp supplements almost a must here during the winter because it's so dark right right man it um in the in the winter time golly does well I guess that would be light does the sun just go down super early you guys have the six feet back alpaca in vancouver what wait what is that king six feet back alpaca i've never heard of that before saturday for what saturday for what <laughs> oh boggies. yeah everyone in finland usually enjoys personal space most of the time right right like it's not i don't know i've just always really liked space you know like like if we're hanging out just kind of you don't you don't got to be on top of me kind of thing so the whole social distance thing for me has been i've liked that part of it <laughs> for better or for worse let's see i saw it on a billboard here for the washing what what six feet back alpaca i gotta look this up for the washington state department oh man i see the bigfoot stuff everywhere here in vancouver or here in washington like bigfoot's like a a big thing out here people love their bigfoot here in washington state i'll have to look it up for sure oh dude jazz what jazz raid in the party dude welcome in my friend how you doing today welcome in raiders oh my goodness dude we're just kind of chatting about just life you know it's a it's a life chat kind of day today welcome in raid hype my friends jazz senses warm regards you oh my goodness welcome welcome in my friend palm hope you are doing absolutely incredible much love my friend welcome in with the raid my friend and y'all jazz doing just chatting best game on twitch right best game on twitch 
if there is a game to platinum it's just chatting <laughs> dude but thank you so damn much jazz i seriously appreciate the hell out of you my friend um let's see i'd rather go go back to normal considering people <laughs> oh spaz i'm one of those people who was like you go you can't stop me <laughs> space is so cool i like space i like space sweden too very hermit like society see maybe we should move somewhere like maybe we should move somewhere like that should tell waifu we should be like we should be hermits in finland i like that idea i like that <laughs> oh palm with the epic follow thank you so damn much my friend welcome in and jazz you my friend get first coffee cheers of the day hope you are having an absolutely incredible day my friend Ooh, coffee coffee's good you know what i'm gonna take one more sip Ooh, coffee good <laughs> oh i'm from finland welcome in my friend i'm i've been it would be really cool there's there's definitely a part of me that would absolutely love to move to finland or to norway there's just i don't know they, those countries like resonate with me so much you know definitely resonate with me a lot dude but jazz thank you seriously so much for the raid my friend how you doing today how was your stream were you just doing just chatting i mean just chatting streams are honestly my favorite so hell yeah i will definitely cheers for just chatting a diamond and pearl remake in an open world pokemon game my life is complete oh were you playing pokemon it is never too late for coffee i 99 percent agree with that i i usually don't try to have any coffee after like five o'clock though because they're there i mean even when the caffeine kind of wears out and you kind of start to feel that sludge sludge that like feeling downwards from caffeine it still kind of sits in your brain a little bit so sometimes it's really hard to go to sleep at night if you had coffee a couple hours ago you know so i mean unless you want to stay up all night then i mean slug yeah you feel slugging you're slugging <laughs> there was a pokemon direct announcing oh new pokemon content what exactly did they did they announce a diamond and pearl remake and an open world pokemon game interesting open world pokemon game like like breath of the wild no it's not a coincidence <laughs> that explains why you have Palapelli, Palapelli. Did I pronounce that right? Palapelli in your name, or is that just a coincidence? Ooh, Gen 4 remakes announced. That's pretty dope. I think Gen 4 is probably the farthest that I know about the Pokemon games. There's some pretty cool evolutions from like first gen in there. Like, oh, what's um Rhyhorn? There's like the big version of Rhyhorn. Yeah. What like Mag Magmaton? There's some pretty cool ones in Gen 4 brilliant diamond and shining pearl Ooh, i always like the pokemon names except except maybe let's go eevee and, and pikachu those two i was like y'all couldn't have picked any other names for those ones <laughs> oh it means jigsaw puzzle super cool right period yeah exactly that's the one i'm thinking of right period i mean just that name sounds right period that's a good name that's that'd be a good twitch name right period this feels like a fantastic stream oh thank you so much palm we just got nothing but love and good vibes occasional puppy dogs occasional ukulele jams some coffee vibes here and there it's nothing but good vibes my friend <laughs> oh that's how i got my oh let's go oh i like that that's pretty cool kind of like the let's go eevee let's go pikachu hey i like that that's that's pretty that's pretty awesome jazz it's my very first pokemon made right on yeah because it's led by amazing person in the chat it's filled with amaze oh no you lolly no you my friend you amazing you amazing pikachu honestly hold on one of my absolute favorite human beings on the planet she has like the most adorable pikachu emotes fortune 
yeah she has this like adorable pikachu sneeze that's like my favorite thing in the entire world <laughs> gotta go get ready have a good stream what's it big hugs for you my friend thank you for popping it and hanging out i appreciate the hell out of you yes and all the zach party hype woo -woo. <laughs> seriously appreciate you so much what's it hope you have an amazing day my friend always we have puppies chill atmosphere puppies ukulele did i mention puppies <laughs> occasionally games too from time to time from time to time <laughs> i mean it depends i don't know like oh did she's look at this look at this she's like did somebody say puppies did somebody say puppies <laughs> yes hi you're you're a very big puppy you're a very big fluffy puppy this is layla she's adorable she's adorable <laughs> hi layla are you cute you're adorable yes 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 we know and then there's ellie and booker chilling out down there somewhere yeah you're so cute so much fluff so much shedding so much fur i'm gonna eat you all eat eat full of love full of love Mwah. yeah she's adorable she's adorable she's my bestie this one is layla she is the queen what was the command what was the command for layla she's the queen bee Ooh, the food obsessed queen bee I'm more of a cat person myself, but hey, honestly, I am a fur friend. I'm just a fur friend fan. Like cats, dogs, honestly, even rabbits. Like rabbits are adorable. I just like, I just like animals. So I think they are, why not both? Why not all? Why not all, right? <laughs> Yo, Smalls, welcome in my friend. How you doing today? Good morning. I love all the floofs. Yes, all of the floofs um i i've thought about maybe one day getting a cat not here because like if there's one more just fur friend in this place the whole place would just explode of fluffiness but yes maybe one day get a cat i i totally would be down if we had like our own place or something i watched a streamer yesterday who has a kestrel kestrel falcon interesting what is a kestrel falcon interesting I like both i have a cat your cat is adorable dj appreciate your pets everyone yes yes pets just there's something about them like i just i don't know like i love animals they it honestly so when we first moved here we um we got our dogs what are they called where they can not be like service dogs but be like emotional support animals and honestly just like the longer i've had these dogs i totally feel out of my soul like they're absolutely emotional support like they just help you know just having someone to just unequivocal love to cuddle on yeah if you have a cat or if you have a dog if you have a fur friend that you can just give all the love to you know what i'm talking about they're they're just they're best friends i like all animals if i can't hurt me seriously but cats have a special spot cats are adorable man makes that day much better yes mr white yes mr white yes mr white i have two dogs and a cat Ooh, what kind of uh dogs and cat do you have smalls pets they're stupidly hilarious they they sometimes make adorable ass youtube videos honestly hold on i kind of want to i kind of want to see this uh what was it the falcon i want to look this up y'all let's let's check out this falcon um where was it a kestrel falcon i mean just the name sounds super dope so let's see here what do we got oh i thought it almost pulled a pot and like wait a minute is that tos is that tos Ooh, look at these Ooh, they're wow wow super super cute wow look at these like colors my god I could yeah falcon punch <laughs> oh my goodness they are beautiful wow i could have a i could have a falcon one day that'd be pretty cool kind of want a hedgehog dude hedgehogs are cute hedgehogs are adorable just all the pets right you get a pet you get a pet let's all have pets together i like it i like that idea <laughs> it's a special spot of golly's heart a amy just popped up over my shoulder and wanted some hugs yes king they're just the best friends they're just the best friends 
they're so amazing the one of the smallest birds of prey they're usually a little smaller than the length of your forearm oh they're typically used for beginning falconeers but she rehabbed him and is able to keep him i mean that's pretty that's pretty damn cool falconing what does falconing mean is that like where they have the glove on and then the, they like rest on the arm and do they like fly and retrieve things is that kind of what they do you do experience this. I'm still your pets. Rue, welcome in, Rue. How you doing today, legend? They're pretty, they're pretty cute, honestly. Although I will give forewarning, they shed a lot. So golden retrievers, 10 out of 10 would absolutely recommend, but you need a vacuum. You definitely need a vacuum in your life. They they shed a lot. But they, I mean, they're absolutely worth it. They're like. It, it was either between golden retrievers labrador or a husky i think when wifey and i were talking and i've just i grew up with air bud so i've just like always wanted a golden retriever you know let's see people hunt oh people hunt with the falcons interesting hunt like does the falcon go hunt for them and bring the the like the hunt back or do they like find where they should go when, how do they hunt? Seeing as I'm probably studied biology, I wouldn't mind some form of job with animals. Yeah, honestly, like being a vet. I feel like being a, a vet and helping animals would be a pretty amazing. Although I could only imagine just the emotional roller coaster, like dealing with the human aspect of it, you know, because like someone comes in and they're like, oh my God, my dog is dying. Help me, help me. It's like okay we got this <laughs> so the hunt oh the hunter flushes out the prey and the falcon gets it then they lure the falcon back with meat and take the what it's way back or back way far there are people who fly golden eagles in mongolia dude that is super super cool that is super cool that's praying the falcon gets it they lure the falcon back that is that's pretty damn cool honestly i'm gonna have to check that out Go on a hunt with Captain Falcon. Probably not going to be a vet. Didn't take courses for that. And I don't want the roller coaster. I definitely think, though, being a vet could be like very, I don't know. It feels like so many people get jobs. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. I'm sure I feel like a lot of people just get jobs that are incredibly unfulfilling, you know? Like you go to work and just the whole time driving to work, being in work, you're just like, what am I doing with my life? Like, this is such a waste there you know i don't know do y'all kind of feel that i just feel like so many jobs just feel so useless you know just so like what am i doing with my life and there are like some jobs where you truly do feel like you're doing something for the world you know you feel like you're helping someone you feel like you're helping animals or helping other humans or helping communities or helping just people but so many other jobs are just like you're just so on autopilot and checked out from it all you know uh, i will definitely say i am a hundred million percent experiencing that with my job right now <laughs> i've been obsessed with it for years oh i got to hold an owl once and it was so freaking cool that would be wild honestly i would love to do something like that that would be so much fun maybe uh a falconing live stream I think that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, Rue. But how are you doing, though, today? Rue, Rue, what you up to today? Are you streaming at all later, Rue? Yes. Oh, with the pupper emote. Oh, I'm always such a sucker for the pupper emotes. Those are like my favorite things in the world. If you ever get like dog emotes or like kitty cat emotes or anything like that, please, please post them. They're like my favorite thing in the world, um, especially Pajama Princess Daisy. Her, her new uh, golden doodle emote is like one of my favorite things ever. And that pupper emote is like 10 out of 10. It's so freaking cute. Yes, 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 yes. If you got the fluff emotes, we need them all in our life. Who knows what form of documentary job of sorts. Dude, a documentary job would be cool, honestly. I feel like journaling could be amazingly cool or amazingly terrible you know i feel like being like a journalist nowadays could be do y'all kind of feel that what are all of your thoughts on like being a journalist i feel like a lot of people probably growing up wanted to be a journalist to, to travel and experience the world 
but then you kind of become an adult and see how so much of journalism is kind of steered and you're like i don't know about this do the job you like and then have fun will come for your life every day yeah i think it's good to um to just find a job that you connect with you know currently work at oh doggy daycare smalls hell yeah doggy daycare hype loved doing cemetery work that's why i did it off and on for 10 years i mean it would probably be there probably wouldn't be i don't know like cemetery work like mowing the grass cleaning just kind of like tidying up the area is that kind of what you did spaz never really wanted to be a journalist i was thinking more nature photography that would be cool that'd be really cool you see some of those like photographers who go to like the amazon rainforest or sahara i don't know sometimes i'm just like man there's like such a huge world out there there's there's other countries there's forests and and lakes and rivers and just so much to experience and i'm wasting away at my job <laughs> making rich people ri richer you know uh, one day my friends one day we we have to all do it one day we just gotta we just gotta live life my friends right we just gotta go for it you yay thank you so much for the follow my friend welcome welcome in how you doing today oh dark dorcas sorceress welcome in nodulus welcome in my friends how y'all doing today everyone made that pokemon direct oh um yeah we were talking about it a little bit earlier I, I guess they're remaking some of the new or some of the pokemon games of gen 4 are you pretty excited about that nodulus oh my goodness dorcas sorceress how are you doing today my friend welcome in with like the keep my favorite emote on twitch this is probably like top three most used emote is the piggy love <laughs> how are you doing cutting grass dealing with funerals putting bodies in the ovens for cremations digging cremations wow a bunch of different stuff i mean david attenborough and steve Irwin are role models dude steve Irwin, my man oh dude talk about a legend talk about an absolute legend doing okay up earlier than intended Ooh, how are you doing today i'm doing pretty good we got some puppy hype we got some some coffee vibes oh dis cheering with bitty love oh my goodness dis welcome in my friend panna welcome in panna how you doing today oh my goodness we just got legends left and right popping in dude dis thank you so damn much for the bitty love i super appreciate you i appreciate everybody being here my friends should we get see if we can get some puppy hype watch watch this all we got to do is say it Layla. That's all we gotta say. That's all we gotta say. Layla. Oh, here she comes. Hi. Oh, fortune cookie, the one, the only redeeming puppy treats right out the gate. Hell yeah, fortune. How you doing today, legend? Welcome, welcome in. Doggers, Crimin, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone, just in time for some puppy hype. Every time I come to the stream, it makes my day. You are all amazing. You, Hannah, you, my friend, are amazing. Man, we just got love and good vibes and puppy treats and love for this little fluff over here. What about the other ones? We got puppy treats. Come here. Puppies. Puppies. Boogeyman, come here. Come here, buddy. Okay. All right, buddy. And Ellie. Ellie. All right. We got the whole crew. Uh, Boogeyman, come here. Hey, Ellie. There we go. Come on, bud. All right. Munch, munch. <laughs> there we go. W. So should we do leave it? Should we do gibbies? Should we do catches? What shall we do, Fortune? How shall we feed the fluffaroonies? Like this online school. Oh, to the end of March. Possible opportunity to work out more and grow my hair. Hell yeah. There you go. Get the the rock star look right we should do leave it oh my goodness you all gonna you all gonna be working for this one fluffs we'll give ellie her since she's a butthead and doesn't ever want to leave it but we still love you all right <laughs> all right boogeyman can you leave it can you leave it layla's already drooling cerberus floofy guardians of adorableness even though I haven't mastered leave it true that true that I'm I'm 27 years old and still trying to trying to learn it I see the side eye from the boogeyman I buddy can you leave it 
See, they've gotten... Layla sometimes can be a little sus. Watch out for her. But for the most part, they're pretty, they're pretty solid. Hmm. I got to wait for fortune though. She, she gives the command when we go for it. Oh, get oh, she caught it. They both caught it. Yes. Yes. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. Say thank you, Fortune. Thank you, Fortune. And then Boogeyman runs away to go lay down. Oh, are you coming over this way? Hi, buddy. They're 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 pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, they I'm honestly impressed how how long, how good they're able to do that. I mean, they've always been like pretty decent with it, but like they've just gotten super good with it, honestly. Booker the solo snooty boy that's the truth Ellie the food or no wait Ellie the shy sweetheart that's so true and Layla the food obsessed queen I see you queen Layla Layla are you the food obsessed queen hi Layla oh where you go where you, you want to come up this way <laughs> maybe I'll use the opportunity to improve my dance moves Ooh gonna need it for the disco star look next year hell yeah hell yeah golly oh man is anybody doing anything like super exciting because today's today's friday fry yay is anybody doing anything super exciting for the weekend yo waifu welcome in magical waifu charlie welcome in my friend how you doing today fry yes fry yay fry yay my friend it is definitely Friday today. Ooh, streaming in an hour. We got some Dark Souls hype and coming, Fortune. Trashed Bandicoot stream tonight. Trashed. Does that mean every time you die in Crash Bandicoot, you got to take a shot? That would that would be intense. Could you imagine doing that with like Dark Souls or Hollow Knight or, one, or like Crash Bandicoot? Like needing to take a shot or something every time that would be terrible do you no 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 daisy we do not at all at all just a sip just a drink <gasps> skirts here oh my goodness skirts welcome in thank you so much for the follow skirts how you doing today skirts and suits two magnificent legends two incredible legends hope you're doing absolutely incredible today skirts thank you seriously so much for the follow so incredible to see you my friend just gonna exist honestly think i might go grab a massive bath bomb hell yeah lolly i can definitely get behind that just baths baths are so underrated i feel like the older older you get just the better baths get you know mm. it's like baths as you get older are like wine you know maybe when you're 15 20 you just like this tastes disgusting but just kind of as you get older oh it's just even though i'm not into wine but you know what i'm saying oh man Ooh, streaming this afternoon are you streaming more yakuza dj after a certain something made its way here i'm probably gonna chill Ooh, maybe watch some star wars or play yakuza zero nice i think dj's yeah dj streaming yakuza nice nice um ooh, which star wars are you on golly have you made it to episode five yet bath bombs yes except our bath is right by the nursery now oh gotcha gotcha yeah we were talking earlier um before we moved here we had like a big jetted bath and I, we had one time where we had a bath bomb and it was it was pretty good it, it was it was good it was really fun oh man Ooh, steak dinner tomorrow maybe record my buddy's car Ooh, for a new youtube video maybe stream sunday haven't decided yet dude all of that sounds like a good time zach especially if it involves your beautiful self streams all weekend for me gonna be lots of fun hell yeah dis what you streaming doing good how are you i'm doing amazing today charlie i'm super happy you're doing really good though today do you got any fun plans for the weekend at all oh <gasps> is that is that mr dandy and epic cthulhu two of the greatest human beings on the planet welcome in my friends april april oh my god we're just more hollow knight less talking <laughs> everyone's like shut up zeph are we playing hollow knight or nah i mean maybe nah maybe nah <laughs> oh my goodness Ooh, episode five with the family hell yeah I don't like drinking wine, but I cook with it a lot. Interesting. I'm kind of the same way, Mr. White. I've never been a big 
do we got any wine fans here i've just i've like never been able to get into it beer took me a little bit of time to get into but like wine just never been crazy about wine maybe one day what is good brother hope you're having an amazing day you beautiful human being i got dude we got mr dandy in chat it absolutely has to be a beautiful day my man how you doing today mr dandy what you up to today dude love bath bombs Ooh, oh my goodness whoa just bath bombs bath bomb is love i need a bath bomb again in my life almost everything starts to taste good as you get older except sugar and sweets anybody else kind of feel that i feel like the older i get the less like really fake sugar starts it doesn't taste good anymore like i used to love candy and and yeah i used to love like candy those like sugar things you'd like dip in and and just none of that really sounds good anymore i host wine socials all the time suits we got suits in chat my man dude how you doing today suits love chatting with you i love chatting with you april seriously every time you pop in chat i get so damn hyped to see you i hope you're doing incredible today are you doing anything fun for the weekend april do you end it came here to hang out the wine advent Ooh, what is the wine advent calendar a nice sweet red yes yeah honestly i think i got we kind of got a little bit into white wine but i don't know just red i could never get into i'm sure maybe one day i'll kind of get into it but maybe we should do like a wine stream can we stream like a wine stream can that be a thing how are you doing with your new oh here's intention of no alcohol zeph still not one single drop of alcohol still completely free this entire year um january we did no alcohol February, we have done no eating out at all. Both of them have not cheated once, have not done anything. And uh, next month, I think we're going to do no, no Washingtonian vegetables. If you, if you get my, my wink, wink, <laughs> man, darn COVID ruins my plans with best pal supposed to drive over to the next town, grab donuts and coffee, dude, donuts and coffee sound good. Wifey and I are already talking about what our, what our, what our, um, what are you calling it? What our like treat is going to be March 1st. We're going to get some burgers. We're going to get some like good, good burgers. We're so we we're talking about it last night and just like salivating. I like the Kool-Aid wines, like Kool-Aid wines. I've never heard of that. My taste buds are super sensitive with things like that. And it really has to be paired with something for me to even remotely enjoy it. Right. Like, I feel like I could never just drink red wine. Maybe if I had like steak with it, maybe maybe honestly same hate cheap chocolate now right when the world is just filled with so much good chocolate why do we i'm the same way i'm the same way beanie bianca thank you so much for the follow my friend welcome in beanie how you doing today Ooh, no sugar so we i suggest i suggested no sugar and i suggested no coffee no caffeine both of those got shot down super fast. Um, so we, we kind of settled on the no, uh, no Washingtonian veggies. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm excited for that. Although I'm, I'm kind of nervous about all the dreams because supposedly when you like stop doing that, you have like insanely crazy dreams. So probably going to have some like crazy intense dreams coming. We'll see. <laughs> Don't enjoy large amounts, my health and all that. But when the sweet tooth, I mean, when the sweet tooth aches, right? as well as me today brother just started red dead redemption 2 dude first playthrough unspoiled how you enjoying it so far mr dandy not only like my sugar in very specific forms right like chocolate chocolate i mean i'll always love chocolate but i feel like as i'm getting older i'm liking like dark chocolate more like that bitterness you know 24 mini bottles of wine and each day during december leading up to christmas you open one of the little bottles Ooh, check my ig posted each day i open them Ooh, i will definitely have to check that that's interesting we got like a big like 24 pack something similar at costco of like beers from germany and it was ooh, it was it was a good time it was good stuff <laughs> you can definitely do a wine tasting stream you can drink on stream just not to excess gotcha gotcha so definitely no like probably should not plan on doing like drunk born you know playing bloodborne and then every time you die taking a drink <laughs> oh man that would probably get excessive real fast wish i had more courage would ask one person out after all this quarantine messiness is over honestly golly just go for it the worst that can happen is they say no and it's you know 
that was something like growing up i i struggled with a little bit and then just one day i'm just like the worst they can say is no you know what and that's fine and as long as you don't make it like awkward or anything just be like oh, okay we can still be friends it's cool yeah 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 but <gasps> it's that beautiful starfish dude welcome in starfish how you doing today legend um but yeah i mean i, I would definitely say like f like for asking people i mean obviously i'm probably not the person to give dating advice because I've only dated one person in my entire life and end up marrying her so <laughs> i don't know how much dating advice you should you should take from me but i would say you know when when the opportunity presents itself just go for it you know just ask the worst they can say is no and you can just be like it's cool it's cool you know and i feel like too the more you you ask people out maybe that's not it but the more you like maybe the more you go on dates that's the that's it the more you go on dates the more comfortable you get with it kind of like anything the more you stream you get comfortable with it the more you play guitar you get comfortable with it so yeah just the more you kind of like go on dates kind of get the feel of kind of get the feel of it just kind of the better it gets right prepare for rem rebounds Zeph. oh my god king but i'm about to have like insane dreams we we shall see i think i'm just more concerned at night king about like because it's become a very ritual thing for myself where like at nighttime it's like a beer you know long day at work way to chill out is to uh wink wink washingtonian veggies so i guess i'm just like how am i gonna the habit of it i'll probably just try to substitute it with tea i'll and like anytime i get that urge i'll probably just try to substitute it with tea and yeah we'll see i mean i'm we got this we got this it'll it'll be good Ooh, a good ch chocolate some cheese or even olives god that sounds delicious suits man oh with like a good wine pairing the cheese i've always thought cheese and wine is is interesting i don't know is it is that really a thing like cheese and wine i feel like cheese and wine don't sound good together at all is that just me you can compromise on the coffee go decaf like ooh, dude mr dandy that is i like your idea decaf you know i don't think i've ever had decaf ever in my life so i don't know does it taste different does it taste different level three limit break i see you starfish oh my goodness never had any washingtonian veggies let's see beautiful <laughs> don't recommend no sugar but a no processed sweets yeah like like no processed sugar right maybe still having some some fruits in there you know still having some like bananas honestly when uh what was it like we didn't really eat much sugar at the start of quarantine so by the time we actually started eating sugar again like we were eating a lot of fruits fruits just tasted so much better after we got a lot of the processed sugar out of our life fruits just tasted so much better so yeah fruits tasted like amazing after we stopped eating like ice cream and chocolate and stuff like that it's so far pretty cool i just finished the tutorial section it's such an immersive game i'm super excited to play it you you've played the first one right mr dandy i haven't played either of the red dead redemptions myself but ev everybody says they're like incredible games although i've heard some people say red dead redemption 2 is a little long but hmm I mean i did pour about two to three doubles heavy handed on stream while cooking nothing happened so it is all good yeah i guess i'm just like so nervous i guess like i remember when we were playing the last of us part two and there was a very sexual scene on stream the whole time i'm just like oh my god like i hope nothing happens i was like super paranoid about something happening on stream but people were saying like as long as you, it's not like blatantly obviously in front of you you know like it's it's more just kind of like part of the story it's you, you're fine you're like you won't get in trouble or anything for it man let's see oh dude is that doro what doro welcome in my man how you doing today legend oh man it can wax philosophical on white cheese and wines work to play the palette Ooh, interesting wine and cheese wine and cheese i guess I don't know that just sounds so not together but maybe is it just like when the two of them mix there's like an explosion of yumminess mm, maybe we'll have to maybe we'll have to try it. doorknob 44 
Oh my goodness. I love you, Dora. How you doing today, my man? Oh my goodness. I don't I don't have the alert, but hello there. I hope I hope that suffices. <laughs> hope everyone is having a beautiful day today. We got Doro 44 in chat. It absolutely is gonna be a beautiful day. I can feel it in my soul. Oh man, cheese and wine is so good. I can't go without my veggies. I'd be a dick. <laughs> Every wine social, I have a bunch of craft cheese for people. So, suits, do you have like crackers too? Is it like cheese and crackers? Cheese and grapes. Interesting. But isn't grapes kind of like, isn't that kind of like wine? It's like the fresh version of wine. So, I think, I wonder what grapes and wine would taste like. I have played R R D R one R R D R one R two D two. That's tough to say. General Kazefa, General Kenobi. <laughs> I'm good. Just woke up, had some coffee, dude. Coffee. I will cheers to that, my man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the Pokemon event. Everyone is like super hyped for the Pokemon event. I'm probably going to play Valheim all day. Hell yeah, dude. Are you streaming today, Doro? By the way, y'all, like. Y'all are seeing the shout outs, but seriously, like literally everybody here is a 10 out of 10. So, so many incredible streamers in chat. If you're not following Zach and DJ and Suits and Doro and just go up the list, every single one of these humans are beyond incredible. So nothing but all the love for every single person in here. <laughs> Let's see, isn't it a mix of the, it isn't a mix with a transition of wine to cheese and then, okay. So you go wine to cheese, finish it. And then you eat cheese and then the wine. Interesting, interesting. So it kind of like coats at the same time, right? Maybe. Let's see. I'm going to go check my bros playing. Got a business ooh, to manage in Yakuza. Hell yeah. See, enjoy Hollow Knight. We'll see, golly. I mean, I had full intentions of playing it today for a little bit before work, but that might be by the wayside. It might just be a just chatting stream. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Honestly, I just love I love the just chatting, you know, and uh, yeah, they're just so much fun. What do you think about like just chatting before stream Doro? I know you usually do a lot of just chatting. Here's a question actually for you, Doro. I've been wanting to ask, how do you find the time to like break into the game? Because sometimes I feel like with just chatting, it's so I don't know. It's so easy to just get talking on topics about whatever and next thing you know you look over and it's like an hour has gone by and you're like oh i'm actually are we gonna play a game today i feel like time just flies by so much with just chatting maybe because it's so like in the moment you know so like constant and fast paced and like i don't know i don't know does anybody else do like just chatting before they're before they jump into the game before they like stream their game if I could be a just chatting streamer, I would. Doro, you can, my man, you can. I start every stream with an hour of just chatting and then switch, but I chat just so much while I game too. Doro, I'm I'm pretty damn sure like you and me are the identical. Like we're the exact same person, just different parts of the world. Cause a thousand percent, a thousand percent. I love the just chatting. Oh, I'm super happy to hear that ice cream. I really feel like that's de definitely the direction I really want to kind of just kind of keep going is is just chatting because like I love talking about whatever we could talk about video games we could talk about the world we could talk about each other we could talk about life we could talk about just anything just pick anything uh, like I'm I'm I mean aside from maybe super heated conversations but yeah I just love just chatting with all of you so lively in this chat it is hard to break away to start playing i would but i don't have enough people to chat with honestly when i first started streaming disassociation i i was like streaming to zero viewers for a long time um i i would definitely say like just just keep filling the air just just keep whatever's in your head just fill up the space if you're playing a game just keep chatting just keep chatting just fill the air because if you're like playing a game and like let's say there's zero viewers and then something cool happens and you're like talking about it if somebody clicks on your page and they hear you chatting about something maybe they'll assume there's other people in chat maybe they'll have some opinion on what you just said and then just you get that one person talking and then snowball effect sometimes a snowball happens in the same stream sometimes it takes weeks for me it took months but now like 
I incredibly look forward to every morning when I get a chat with every single one of you. Try to chat before I start the game if people are there in chat. Yeah, honestly, it's just... Oh, we do have the same mic too. We do, Doro. SM7B hype. It's a good mic. I'm a fan of it. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Let's see. I, I try to. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes of the start of mine, and then I move on to the games, but I base it on how engaging chat is. Then I decide if it's game time or chat time. Right, right, Zach. I definitely think it's good to like get the feel for chat you know like if you've kind of if you've kind of hit a blank wall sometimes maybe chats at a little bit of a blank wall then yeah that's where like the game could come in you know what my favorite thing to do though are those random question generators those are fun so if you ever like want to keep chatting anybody if you all want to like keep chatting and just maybe chats dying down your brain's kind of dying down those random questions are like some of the best the best things in the world I try to end with just chatting, but I've ended up crying the last two times. No, I hope good tears, ice cream. I hope good tears. I usually start with just chatting to about 30-ish minutes, maybe a little more depending on the convos. But at some point in the convo, I talk about the game we are going to play for the day and transition into that. I just keep an eye on the clock, especially since I have very limited time. Yeah, that's, that's a smart way to go, Mr. Dandy. I was doing that a lot earlier where I do 30 minutes as well of just chatting and then just kind of transition over into the game. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's Hollow Knight, but I just feel kind of like I've just very much enjoyed this part more than that part you know so maybe it'll change next month because I, I think we're gonna play like breath of the wild next month something like super chill and relaxed and i'm super excited for just a chill game to play i feel like i need a chill game to play between hollow knight and dark souls or demon souls and bloodborne a chill game seems like a good idea there's not many people in chat yeah and i would say um like ice cream says they do it at like the end of the stream so that could be a really cool idea too maybe like jump right into the game and then like last 20 minutes or 30 minutes or something kind of just like catch up with everyone just kind of chat about whatever that could be a cool idea absolutely i'm not complaining at all i love my lurkers so i'm mostly just talking to myself about the game or whatever and enjoying knowing someone is there at all right right because that's lurk like no joke lurkers are the mvps of twitch like hands down hands down like just and I feel like that's a big, if there was any advice I would give to anybody, if you're going to spend money, if you want to spend money on your stream to enhance your stream, the first thing I would recommend to invest in would be a decent microphone because so many people I've talked to, um, on stream, like they'll listen to it in the background, you know, it's like a podcast or they'll like clean the house and like listen to a stream or they'll watch on the TV or, or, you know, like audio is so damn important. Yeah. Yeah. I, I exactly. Mike all the way on audio is number one. Audio is so big, right? Like how many times do you guys just like go driving, listen it in the car, you know, or you're cleaning or doing something and you're listening to it on headphones. Like, so if there's, if you're going to spend 50 bucks, a hundred bucks and you're like i want to do something cool with my stream a good mic would absolutely be my first recommendation oh batu would be amazing to see you play i love that game isn't it just such a chill game how are you liking ghost of tsushima so far doro everyone says that's like one of their favorite games they've ever played in their life that game looks so chill honestly i feel like i want to play ghost of tsushima one day yeah it's the audio levels levels everything right right like getting a decent usb mic like the wave what is it the wave three or maybe it's just the wave the elgato wave one is a good one or what's the auto audio 2020 that one's a pretty solid one yeah and just learning about like noise gates and levels and stuff like just watching two or three youtube videos on that and then just go into town on the audio people will appreciate it <laughs> yo sub 928 did you know oh speaking of random questions and random facts of the day i use headphones with a mic with my setup i don't have space for a mic gotcha gotcha and that's i say just whatever works for you right but if you do get a chance to get a mic on like a boom arm or something it's it's good stuff 90% of my stream is watching actually just audio because I'm always at work. Same. A lot of the times, like I'm in people's streams, like on my iPad while I'm doing work over here and just like listening with my headphones on. So I'm, I'm like, 
I'm a big lurker. I am definitely a big lurker for sure. <laughs> All right, random fact of the day, my friend. Did you know, sup? There's a basketball court above the Supreme Court. It is known as the highest court in the land. I mean, they must not have been to Snoop Dogg's house. <laughs> okay, what's another fact? That's interesting. Basketball court above the Supreme Court. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's another one? Despite the optical illusion, the gateway arch is exact. Interesting. The gateway arch is exactly as wide as it is tall. Like it's perfectly interesting. Did you know we're Willie Nelson's house? I see you fortune. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Have you been lurking on my streams? Yeah, I've been in your streams quite a few times, DJ. I, I, I think I've been watching you play. I watched you play Persona 5 a lot. Like watching you play Persona 5 was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I had. I don't think I've checked out Yakuza too much. Honestly, I would probably play Persona before I would play Yakuza. I, but everyone says they're both amazing. So I just feel like there's so many games to play, you know? Yo, Shoddy, welcome in, my friend. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. We're just throwing out random facts of the day. Oh, Doro. Let's see. Um, I watched a video of someone explaining it and showing and video with an awesome camera with the audio being bad and then vice versa. Yeah, audio for sure is number one. Yeah, I think I've seen um Harris Heller for Alpha Gaming. He did something like that where he had like five thousand dollar camera, two thousand dollar lens, just like super high quality camera stuff, like like this. And then all he did was use the camera from the use the or the camera from it use the audio from the camera and then turn the lights off and it looks like you're recording with the phone so lights what do, what do they say audio first light second camera third camera third cold steel i have not played oh maybe it was cold steel maybe it was cold steel dj yeah man you and uh neo matter i know neo matter's been playing um cold steel i love neo matter he's like one of my favorite humans in the world <laughs> let's see all right brother speaking of lurking i gotta do that now and focus on work might be able to swing by again later mr dandy dude thank you so much god i don't have enough incredible words for you my man you're incredible you're amazing you're magnificent i hope you have an amazing amazing day dude all the love always for you dandy ghost was amazing i just beat it it is a must play especially if you have a ps5 just don't play it on lethal i do I was able to grab a PS5, so maybe, maybe. Although, everybody, come on. What about Final Fantasy VII Remake? Episode Yuffie? Anybody excited about Episode Yuffie? I'm, 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 my mind was completely blown. My mind was completely blown when I got home last night and saw that. I was like, oh my God, we're actually getting some Seven Remake stuff. Thank, thank the Lord. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's two Pokemon games, right? Smiles. Yeah. Um, remakes of Gen Four games, right? I think there was Magnificent Pearl and Brilliant. Yeah, the Gen Four games got remade. But someone was saying there's an open world game. I'm more curious on this Pokemon open world game. Does anybody have any information on that? Speaking of seven remake things, <laughs> right? I, I feel I'm like my emotes, my emotes. They have some substance to them. <laughs> I have a backlog of games. Seven remake is going to wait. Glad I played OG seven though. Honestly, fortune. I definitely think playing OG seven, not to be that person, but I think it is absolutely worth it to play OG seven first and then do seven remake things kind of click a bit more things kind of like make more sense you're not like who the hell is this bad guy with long silver hair right at the second chapter of the game you know things kind of click a little bit better still need to beat seven but now i want to wait for the next gen update but kenna though super hyped for that game i didn't check any of the event at all doro i literally just saw there was seven remake and only watched that stuff um but I will have to watch the rest of it and see what else was announced. Was there any Bloodborne stuff announced? Any like Bloodborne 2 or or Elden Ring? Or was there any like Bloodborne 60 FPS? Anything patched like that? Let's see. It's literally Pokemon meets Batu. I mean, I'd be down for that. Batu is like my one of my favorite games of all time. 
crisis core being redone ported and john and i have ideas about that I'm, dude right like seeing zach in his little like little chibi zach running on the train i'm like oh my god i need this i need this i just, advent children they're gonna make advent children into a game what i i i don't even know i'm so excited Ooh, pokemon legends arceus Ooh, interest that's a cool name or is it arceus is it arceus or RCS. Um, open world Pokemon game looks really bad in its current state, but I think it has potential. Yo, Jägermeister, welcome in. I'm excited to see it, honestly. I really want to, I really want to, I really want to see it. Really, really, really want to see this Pokemon open world game. I know what you mean about so many games to play. When I was growing up, I didn't have money to get into all the games I wanted to try. Finally, I reached adulthood, got a job where I could afford the games. But yes, no longer had the time to get the games. Fortune retirement is coming soon, so I'll finally have both time and money. Yes, but I'll no longer have my reflexes. Just overcoming arthritis with will be my trophy system. Hell yeah. I'm totally agree. Totally agree. Like, that's a great way of putting it, actually, is like growing up. You have all the time in the world, but no money. And then you become an adult and you have all the money, well, money to buy the game, you know, but you don't have the time. So that's a really good way of putting at it, actually. I totally agree with that. Heading back into Lurk. All right, Mr. Dandy. Sounds like a plan, brother. The Armageddon, those Final Fantasy games until we are great grandparents, right? Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 72, when we're 72. Yo, Descent, welcome in, my friend. Epic, epic cheers always for you, buddy. Oh, man, to our great-grandparents. But what does that imply? I don't know. I mean, kind of what Fortune is saying. OG7 is the original LEGO video games before LEGOs made video games. The hunt for a PS5 begins. I mean, I mean... I don't know. It could be it could be really cool, honestly. I, I wonder how they'll do it. Like, are they gonna release they, they said they'd release them in chapters? So is this gonna be like is this gonna be like a TV series? You know, you get like one season or maybe you get like an episode every week. How are they gonna pay for it? I really hope it's not pay like free pay to play. Like maybe it's a I don't know, maybe it's a, a subscription. But it feels like a TV series. Like, are they turning this into a TV series with like a new episode every week kind of thing? Yo, Super Morgantroid. Hello, Rockstar. How you doing today, my man? But that free upgrade. Yes, for remake owners. Right. Okay. That was the first thing I noticed, Starfish, when I saw, when I was watching the video. 10 seconds in, I'm like, holy shit, this is in 60 frames a second and it looks so good. Yes, the lighting, the 60 FPS. I'm 10 out of 10 hyped for seven remake. I'm, I'm you best believe we're going to be playing that in June again, flexing with our PS fives. I mean, <laughs> no doing great. My dude, getting my coffee and Zephyr's in super. You are always welcome here. My man, nothing but big hugs for you and big loves for you. Y'all are not following Super Mergen Troid. I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all need to go give him the biggest of love. He's 10 out of 10 incredible. Even Layla comes up. She's like, go give super love. Go give super love. Hides my PS5 and Series X. Oh, <gasps> Doro. Doro got a Series X as well. What? I saw, I actually saw a Series X was in stock at Target the other day. I saw it on my app because I they announced it on Twitter and I could have bought it. I was like, you know what? This add to cart, I could totally buy this right now, but I didn't because I I don't have any games I really would want to play on it. And I already have more than plenty games to play on the PlayStation side. So like it kind of would have been useless to buy it. You know, at least as of right now, it would have been useless to buy it. I, I definitely don't think I would have had time for it. But what games have you been playing on the Series X? What, what games have you been vibing with? Man getting <laughs> jealous of all you with the ps5 honestly I, I really hope they kind of get it back in stock because it's it's insane like how man, I, I, we better not be in like summertime and still 
not having PS5s. Yo, Ziada, stop petting and giving the num nums. Yo, Mystic Wolf, Star Bunkle, Happy Pigs. Three magnificent legends left, right, and center popping in. And Jen and Ziada. Oh my goodness, we're just being blasted with friendship right now. And I'm here for all of it, my friends. Welcome in. Popping my head back in to mention that Battle Royale to hear opinions. Back down. Yo, what do y'all think about Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale? That was the most like, wow, this is a thing. This is a thing. Bat Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale. Wow. This, I did not know. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. I will say I am extremely excited for the PS5 upgrade. I'm extremely excited for Episode Yuffie. I'm extremely excited for... Um, cautiously excited for the ever crisis one um i don't know about the battle royale one i, I don't know on that one what do you all think about the final fantasy 7 fortnite battle royale kind of combo any opinions on it <laughs> yes welcome in mystic happy pigs jen so many incredible legends all right we're gonna do some puppy treats on ziada the legend come on Ooh, man. ellie do you want a puppy treat come here ellie Boogie man, come here. Boogie man, come here. Ellie. Ellie. All right. So Ziada. Hey, Boogie man, come here, buddy. Oh, you just knocked her down right there. Should we do? Oh, I know all the Pokemon news. We got so much Pokemon hypes. Uh, King. Oh my goodness. Watch the trailer, my man, and just tell me your thoughts on it. I, I need to know everybody's thoughts on it. <laughs> All the Pokemon news, dude. I think it's a half-baked attempt by Squeenix to cash in on the Battle Royale popularity. Ziada, I don't know if I could have said it any better myself. I, I think you're 100% right. It feels like, was this even originally going to be a Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale? Or did they make a Battle Royale and then just add Final Fantasy VII elements to it? I don't know. Ziada, should we do a catch? Should we do a leave it? Should we be nice and just give him munch munch? What you feeling, Z? Some leave it's? Ellie, what about you? Do you want a treat? Okay, we got Ellie up here. I agree with Ziada. I agree with Ziada as well. I think Ziada hit it on the head. I think they were making a battle royale because their investors were probably like, you gotta make a battle royale. And then they were just like, what popular IP could we connect this with? Final Fantasy VII, I guess? I guess it would have been cooler maybe if it was just Final Fantasy and not Final Fantasy 7, you know? Catch for sure. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. He's like, feed me up. Oh, nope. Okay. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Dandy is here, the legend. Okay. You got that one. You don't get another one. You already got one. You already got one. Shoo. Shoo. Go on. Go on. Go on. Okay. This one over here who has made a huge puddle of drool all over my computer desk. Oh my God. It's like, it could be kind of interesting, but geez, not for me. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I am so, I don't know about it, but I will try it. We'll give it a shot. Maybe it's super enticing. I don't know. Pretty sus. Get it. Get it. Oh, that was a good catch. Ellie, come here. Ellie, and last, but certainly not least, certainly not least, we got Ellie over here. Giddy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Yo, Giraffe, welcome in. Welcome back, my friend. How you doing today? Zest Chat is where the cool kids hang. Hey, Mike, you, my man, you. Mike gonna be hitting partner. Like, Mike, you, you're, you gotta be right around the corner, man. I can just feel it right there. <gasps> Matt, the boss man, coming in with raid hype, dude. Welcome in, legend. Woo -woo. Welcome in, Matt. How you doing today, my friends? Give me entertainment. I crave it. I got epic coffee cheers, my friend. Epic coffee cheers and vibes. Welcome in, raiders. We got raid hype incoming. Hell yeah. And beautiful starfish with the epic host thank you so damn much my friend how you doing today matt what were you playing were you watching the pokemon stuff too hold on let me make sure yo starlet zombie welcome in starlet i just want to make sure i read this from z <clears throat> oh excuse me i had like a throat cough right there 
It's kind of like the Pokemon MOBA thing. I appreciate they're trying to do something new, but yeah, are toxic and I have no desire to try to do skill shot with Blastoise while some 10 year old calls me racist names. I mean, you are not wrong there at all, Ziada. You are not wrong at all, my man. I can only imagine like the Pokemon, the, the chat group for it. 10 year old is going to be going crazy on us. <laughs> Ooh, the cool kids are here. I'm at the wrong. No, Mystic. Mystic Wolf, come back. Come, Mystic Wolf, come here. Come here. You get front and center at the cool kids table. Front and center, my friend. Doing well after the Pokemon presents. How are you feeling about it, Matt? Does everybody seem pretty damn excited about it? Pog raid, more cool kids. A hey. cool kids, cool kids all the cool kid love <laughs> yeah what did everybody think about the pokemon presentation seems like there's a lot of people excited about it is there a discord oh there is there is i always i gotta throw this one out too though so th that discord is just for that's um oh come on keyboard that's just like the zeph discord we also do have an incredible discord honestly Firesides, a little bit more popping. I think they're both awesome. Love both of them incredibly much. But the Fireside Discord community is huge and extremely active and extremely popping. So I'd say, why not both? Why not both? <laughs> Man, all I really want from Squeenix at this point is a final yes. God, yes, Ziada, right? What if they just did that cute, like, chibi style for like all of them, you know? Like Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy V, Final Fantasy IX. Ooh. I mean, I guess Final Fantasy IX is already kind of like that, but the low key Gen 4 are my favorite starters. Ooh, what is your favorite Pokemon, Happy Pigs? What is your favorite Pokemon, Starlet King? What's your favorite Pokemon, Ziada? Everybody, Mystic Wolf, Giraffe, Matt, the boss man, Ziada. How, what is everybody's number one? What's your, po what's your Pokemon? If you can have one Pokemon, who you picking? Don't forget about eight. Eight is amazing. Eight is amazing. I feel like eight graphics hold up so well, though. Eight still looks great to play. You know, same with nine. I feel like eight and nine still look so good. Seven was the one that looked kind of like crap. <laughs> it looks kind of like Legos. So I'm really happy they're remaking that one. But I agree. Like six would have been awesome. Rayquaza, dude. Hell yeah. Arcanine. Hell yeah, Zang. Arc, dude. Oh, it's hard to not pick Arcanine. Team Fluffer over here. I'd, I'd probably pick Arcanine too. They're pretty good. Yo, Captain Avocado coming in hot. How you doing, Captain Avocado? What is your favorite Pokemon? What's your favorite Pokemon? I'm the zoomiest of zoomers. Oh, you're totally fine, Giraffe. Do you have a particular favorite that you do like that you've like seen? Mimiku, ooh, such hard Espeon, Espeon, Mimiku, two Mimikus, hey, have you played Final Fantasy 14? I have not played 14 yet, Starlet Zombie, and I know in my soul I'm missing out. I do want to play 14 for sure one day. Once I get a piece, like an actual PC and not a POS MacBook, <laughs> once I get an actual PC, I definitely want to do some Final Fantasy 14 streams with everyone, man. The remakes give me OG seven vibes. Dude, the chibi style is so up my alley. I love the chibi style they're doing. I, like that was definitely something I wanted for my emotes. I was like, I really want the chibi style. It's something I really like a lot. Love doggo Arcanine so much. He's, he's the goodest of boys, right? He's adorable. Blue eyes, white dragon. No, dark magician, epic. Dark magician is the best Pokemon. Gappa faces. Hey, Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Hey, Kappa, Kappa. <laughs> Squirtle, Squirtle Squad, Zach. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Squirtle Squad. We call them Team Fluffers. <laughs> we have fun around here. What can I say? We have fun. Can I join this Team Fluffers? King, you are the king of Team Fluffers, my man. You are the king of Team Fluffers. <laughs> Ooh. I like some of these though. Mimiku is Mimiku the like crazy Pikachu one. Is that the one I'm thinking about? The crazy Pikachu looking one. I love Mew. Mew's adorable. Yeah, honestly, um, one of my buddies, Bran Online, he just he just redid his emotes, and they're like the cutest Mew emotes. Um, Mew's adorable. Mew's great. I mean, Mewtwo though. Talk about a powerhouse of a Pokemon. Mewtwo for the win. Woo. 
<laughs> I don't think you all realize what that implies. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, man. But thanks for the compliment, King. You're just the king, man. Like, you're just the king. Like, there's there's nothing more to say. <laughs> Perking you up for the whole production. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, y'all. Y'all are amazing. The only Pokemon I know off the top of my head is Mimiku. Okay, Mimiku. I don't know if I know Mimiku. Hold on. I don't know if I know who Mimiku is, but like four of y'all have said that. So like, let's see this Mimiku. Hold on. What is Mimiku? Is that like the crazy Pokemon looking one? Oh yeah. Oh wow. This was in, this was in Pokemon, right? Oh wow. That is, that is like straight out of Nightmare Before Christmas. This looks like Pikachu got eaten by Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. Is that just me? I mean, this is some like, this is like a deranged looking crazy Pokemon. I mean, is, is Mimikyu like adorable and cute? Or maybe not? Mimikyu is a terrible Pikachu cosplayer that's actually a soul destroying monster that just wants love. I'm going to cosplay that. <laughs> I mean, Mimikyu. I mean, this totally looks like Joker meets Oogie Boogie meets Pikachu. Very, very intense. That'd be a badass cosplay, I'll say. Happy pigs, look how cute. Oh, wait, are you really cosplaying it, Jen? Oh, Lolly. Did you know? Hold on. What's our what's our did you know fact of the day? Did you know murmurations? What are those? Are the graceful undiluting? What? Patterns? Okay. Next one. Too many big words for, for my pea-sized brain. 18% of Americans claim to have seen or felt the presence of a ghost. Whoa. Whoa. Big words I can't. Facts right there. Big words I cannot do. Not this early in the morning. Skirts is here. What? Happy Pigs is here. What? Legends left and right. Ooh, a Mimiku hoodie and plushie. Ooh, a plushie of that would be pretty damn, pretty damn adorable. I know, King. Where is Ghosty? That is utterly unsurprising to me. Applied for attention, oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's what's another one? What's another fact? Nope, we're nope. Skip what? No. In the late 19th century, Beatrix Potter kept a journal in a secret code so complex it wasn't cracked until 1958. I mean. Cool. Cool. What's a, what's another one? Before he wrote Goosebumps, wrote the jokes for Bazooka Joe gum wrappers. Oh, what? What? Oh, man. Just pinster things? A hey. Or just spinster things. Spinster. I'm like, pinster? I haven't heard of that. Like, pinups? <laughs> Talk about the population that voluntarily snorted bath salts and widely believed COVID was a conspiracy to put 5G chips in our nose. Whoa, I haven't heard of that one. For government tracking, of course they believe in ghosts. I mean, I I believe in... I'm just like all about science. So, you know... Yeah, ghosts. Ghosts are interesting. Ghosts are interesting. I've never... I've never been... I've never been big on ghosts myself. Hmm but space though we should go to space i am none of those things but i do believe in ghosts i have seen them many times i i won i mean i don't know i feel like maybe if there's something in the afterlife maybe if there's a post on facebook about government tracking <laughs> oh my god those are the worst ones lolly especially when you like you're having a conversation. Do you, have you all experienced this before? Be honest. Have you all experienced before where you're having a conversation with someone and then next time you get on Facebook, you see an ad for it. You could be talking and be like, yo, happy pigs. Let's let's buy Ghost of Tsushima. Like you're just having a one to one conversation. And then next time you get on Facebook and scroll, it's like, hey, here's Ghost of Tsushima. Or it'll be even smarter. It'll be like, here's like samurai swords. Or here's some like Ghost of Tsushima cosplay. Or here's like, like it's not even just the game. It's like other stuff around it. Oh my God, dude. Dude, they do be listening. They do be listening, my man. 
happens all the time and they swear they're not listening to your phone so i was talking to my coworker about this one of two things is happening with that Either they are listening to our phones and everything, which, which is terrifying because they're lying to all of us and just literally gathering up so much information about us. So either they're lying and they are listening to us, or maybe even worse, they're not lying. They're truly not listening to us and their algorithms are so damn smart that they're able to predict exactly what we want before even we do. If that's true, I would say maybe that's arguably more terrifying. Like if there's an algorithm of Zeph out there that knows exactly what I'm going to be doing or thinking here later today, that's terrifying in so many senses of the words. Honestly, it's probably both. You know, Mark Zuckerberg's in there with all of his executive Ziada and he's like, why not both? Why not both? If there's ever a time for why not both? <laughs> oh, I think someone said in somebody's stream was a suggested search term. Very interesting. It's not even like a conspiracy. I, d I don't think that one's a conspiracy at all. I think there is, there is substantial. I mean, everybody's experienced it. Like everybody has experienced. Oh, I think my PlayStation might've turned off. <laughs> It powered down. It didn't like us talking too much. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll swap for the MacBook. There we go. Better. Stop using good Google. Switch to DuckDuckGo. Hey, I've I've been liking DuckDuckGo. Apparently, Mr. Dandy, did you know? Did everybody know this? There are certain things Google will restrict from being displayed. That if you look up the exact same term on a different browser like DuckDuckGo, then it will actually show stories on them. That's pretty terrifying that the browser that 90 plus percent of everyone in the world uses actually has things filtered through it. I mean, that's a little, that's a little sus. That's a little sus where they have AIs listening and running algorithms for ads. So it's like, it's not a lie. People aren't listening, but something is right. Oh God. Right. <laughs> oh man. If y'all don't have crazy anxiety about algorithms and, and Facebook and all that. I mean, I don't know. It's all kinds of craziness. Hey, Flower, welcome in. How you doing today, buddy? Ellie coming up to say hi. Giving everyone all the love. What? You give kisses. You're adorable. We know you're adorable. That's why I kind of laugh when people freak out over government monitoring. They don't have to monitor. They can just buy the data. Right, right. It, it is interesting that some people are so concerned with government monitoring, but at the same time, those same people are the ones posting all over Facebook, posting all over Instagram, posting all over YouTube. And it's like, you do realize this probably, I mean, government monitoring, of course, has its place for discussion and, and distaste. But like, I mean, do y'all not see these behemoths of companies called <laughs> Twitch and YouTube and Google and Facebook and Amazon and Dude, there's, there's crazy stuff coming, my friends. I definitely feel like privacy is a big thing people need to be aware of. Yep, curated for what Google wants you to see exactly, Mr. Dandy. Isn't Google only like 20% of the whole internet? I think like Google search engine is like 90, like 90 percent of people use Google as their default search engine. Man. Okay, I gotta go now, like 40 minutes for class. I'll be lurking. All right, Mystic Wolf. I hope you have an amazing time at class. Thank you so much for the lurk. I greatly appreciate you so damn much, my friend. Doing good. Hope everything is well with you. It's been going good today, Flower. We were gonna we were going to play some games, but now we're just vibing. Now we're just hanging, just chatting or whatever. Probably for a couple more minutes before I gotta get ready for work. Um, but how are you doing, Flower? Are you doing anything super exciting for the weekend? Ooh, giraffe what is your favorite game of all time there is only one right answer my friend final fantasy 7 final fantasy 7 that is my favorite game of all time what about you though giraffe what is your number one favorite game of all time and everybody we we're talking about this a couple days ago what is all of your favorite game of all time? It's the it's the old school, like if you're stuck on an island and you can only pick one single game to bring with you for the rest of your life, what's the one game you'd want to play? Ghost of Tsushima? Really happy pigs. 
Really? That one is skyrocketed, skyrocketed. Ooh, skyrocketed, skyrocketed to number one. Ooh, Zelda Twilight Forest. Ooh, okay. So hard to think of an answer. Ooh, tactics or six. Ice Cream Assassin. Hell yeah. I will definitely cheers to that, my friend. Ooh, I could replay that over and over and over. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ziada, say people think the free market can provide the best solution. Looking at you, Texas. Man, I, I hope they do something about, you know, maybe connecting a little bit more for to the power grid. Cause uh yeah, I mean there's definitely there's definitely truth in like being independent is good. But there's also truth in that like being connected to a community is good. So I agree. I I think yeah, I agree, Ziada. A hundred percent. Ooh, Madeline's rainy day. I don't know if I've ever heard of that skirts. What what kind of game is that? What it's what's it about? Yo, Yen Sid with the Pog of Greed, the mighty Pog of Greed, dude. Welcome in. How you doing today, buddy? Leaving you a lurk while I try and progress in Dark Souls 2. Have a wonderful day, Zeph, the wifey, the floofs, the beautiful people of the world. Much love and hugs. Have an amazing weekend. Fortune cookie know you my friend you have an amazing stream have an amazing day have an amazing weekend huge incredible love for you just y'all fortune cookie is like one of the best human beings on the planet nothing but incredible love for her incredible streamer too y'all need to follow fortune cookie she is 10 out of 10 amazing I'd uh, say Hamlet I'm making. It's close to finish. And then, oh, just painting. Nice. Anything particular you're painting, Flower? What do you usually paint? Monster Hunter. Wow, nice. Dude, I know um, my friends Level Up Duo, Curtis and Andrea, they're like, they, they're they loving Monster Hunter. It's so fun to watch Monster Hunter streams. Um, Monster Hunter looks fun. I feel like I, I'd be down to play Monster Hunter one day for sure. What about you, Jensen? What is your favorite game of all time, my friend? Hey, Zach, I see you. I see you. I see you. It's a children's PC game. Oh, it's the little redhead Madeline. I played it a lot in the early 90s and early. Oh, okay. Okay. It was mostly, it was a joke. Gotcha. Big nostalgia, maybe. It was like a pretty nostalgic game um, from childhood. I feel like nostalgia games are so powerful. You know, that's why so many people yeah like ocarina of time i mean ocarina of time is amazing I, i'm oh but every time now i think of ocarina of time i just get bummed i'm like zelda or not zelda but nintendo why the 35th anniversary i know we still got a whole we still got the whole rest of the year but like if there was ever a time they should have released an hd port for the switch man why did they not do that i don't know we still have the rest of the year maybe they'll do something with it would you all be down for like some zelda hd ports to the switch this is nintendo an idiot sandwich <laughs> you're not wrong zach you're not wrong at all if it's truly dessert i'm probably mass effect 2 or oblivion just because all the side stuff and lore dude oblivion oblivion over skyrim happy pigs it's really no it's really not. What's really not, Ziada? Man, the myth, the legend, Zap, dude, Alistair. How you doing today, buddy? The game I've played all my life was five from Minecraft. Oh, Yensid, Kingdom Hearts. But Zelda, Kingdom Hearts and Zelda. Those are the two. Those are the two. I like that. Yeah, they should have ported it to Switch. They really, they, you know how much money, if they would have just been like, we got Majora's Mask for 30 bucks for Switch, we got ocarina of time for 30 bucks we got wind waker hd for switch 30 bucks they could have just made 100 bucks off of so many damn people so damn fast but nope but nope but nope it's okay hopefully later this year we'll get something might become a monster hunter streamer when monster hunter rise comes out do it mr dandy do it mr dandy <laughs> Sorry, I have to lurk because two lunch meetings. Oh, you are totally fine, Deli Bakery. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Just you being here, I appreciate the hell out of you. I hope you are having an incredible, incredible day. And thank you really for the lurk. It is nowhere near HD. I know we need we need to like port it to HD for sure. <gasps> Level up duo. Oh my God, we were just talking about you. My favorite Monster Hunter streamers. Welcome in, friends. How you guys doing today? Y'all. 
talk about legendary streamers left and right how are you doing today my friends always oblivion over skyrim the arena the dlc the cities hell yeah hell yeah honestly mike i hope we can still be friends but i've never played any of the elder scroll games at all i haven't played any of them skyrim i haven't played oblivion <laughs> Hopefully one day though. You make me sad. No, I don't want to make Happy Pig sad. You're my bestest bud. <laughs> so should we do, would you recommend Oblivion still? Is it still worth playing? Is it still like pretty solid to play? Yo, what is good? Oh, level up duo. We're just chatting today. Just vibing before going to work here in a bit. Got little Ellie over here. She's giving some love. Skyrim is good, but Oblivion is bay. Okay. Has anybody else out there not played any of the Skyrim or any of the Elder Scrolls game? Or am I the only one? Am I the, the odd man out on this one? I'll play Final Fantasy if you play Oblivion Skyrim. <laughs> I mean, a Final Fantasy you can finish in like 30 hours. Can you, can you finish Oblivion or Skyrim? I feel like whenever people talk about Oblivion and Skyrim, those are like monster games those are like a hundred 200 hour plus behemoth of games just have to mod the daylights out of it i mean if i feel like my computer will blow up if i just blink at it so maybe that'll have to wait for pc i'd still say it holds up I was gonna do treats because they deserve it but saving for vip Ooh, some vip hype i'm excited jen maybe 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 we could convince somebody to uh do some puppy tees i think we might have one more left never played oblivion no clue what it is but i have played a lot of skyrim i oblivion is like the the for the story and game before skyrim right oblivion is like elder scrolls 3 and skyrim is elder scrolls 4 or maybe it's maybe it's oblivion is number four Four, and I think Skyrim's number five, right? Oh, okay. Yes, the first, the first way, the first way. <laughs> the main story in any Elder Scrolls game is pretty short. Oh, it's the side quest that can dump 200 hours in. Man, something about like, something about like 200 hour games. I feel like as I just, especially with streaming, and especially because we chat nonstop, if there's anything, I need to play like short games, y'all. I need to get into the like, you get into the games that are like 10 15 20 hours to beat and then we could probably complete them in a month <laughs> yo sick little runty welcome in my friend how you doing today oh thank you so much welcome welcome in runty hope you're having an incredible incredible friday my friend oh is skyrim sit is skyrim elder scroll six and oblivion is number five interesting i thought they didn't have an elder scroll six yet hold on Hold on. Skyrim is oh Skyrim is Elder Scrolls 5 it says. And then Yeah, I think Oblivion is number 4, right? Let's see. Elder Scrolls, yeah. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Gotcha. So Oblivion is number 4, Skyrim is number 5. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, it's Roman numerals. <laughs> Honestly, growing up playing um growing up playing Final Fantasy, I just I guess I just like kind of, I don't know. I, I got used to Roman numerals pretty fast. So <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Roman numerals are, they're, they're super easy to mistake, but I'm just smooth brain. No, Jen. No, you're, you're amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. My friend, and don't ever forget it. Please don't ever forget it. Seriously love and appreciate you so damn much waiting Zeph to play legend of heroes trails games oh man i feel like with how long those are dj i don't know if i i don't know i feel like super long games like that i don't know if i'd want to stream them you know they just feel very long maybe like play them off stream i don't know i feel like i get sidetracked with chat and conversating so damn much to be able to like play a 60 80 hour game on stream would be pretty tough. You're missing out on some great games. I mean, you could always play them off stream, maybe, you know? Shivering Isles DLC for Oblivion. Loki, best DLC of all time. Ooh. Ooh. 
feel like I haven't heard of that one before. Actually, hold on. Hold on, happy pigs. Hold on. So, Mike, I do have Skyrim. I do have it. And it has been, I did open it at one point. I guess they just never decided to play it for some reason. Oh, it even has a code in here for downloadable content. Oh. But yeah, it says it's a special edition winner of over 200 Game of the Year awards. Man, includes Dawn Guard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. Ooh. The music, though, I, I i mean, I know the music is super amazing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, Pog, maybe we should play that one day. That'd be a fun game to play. I've seen um, I've seen a couple streamers play it. One of my favorite, um, her name is uh, It's Dren. She's played she's played a lot of Skyrim, but she's just like me. Like when she starts talking like about just anything, she kind of stops playing the game and just focuses on chat. So but also it, it's almost the 15 year anniversary of oblivion holy moly makes me feel nostalgic mike you're getting so old man <laughs> not at all you're you just did you just hit 26 right sorry in and out of lurking working want to make sure to say hi all oh, you are totally fine my friend curtis i think it's curtis right curtis not andrea you both are incredible. Appreciate the hell out of you so damn much just for being here, for popping in to say hi, for just all the love you always give, for being magnificent, for being incredible. Um, seriously, every time you pop in, I just get so, so damn hyped. Thank you just for all the love. You both are just big damn hugs for the two of you. Big hugs for everyone. I'm old man 26. Get out of here. Get out of here with that, Mike. You not old. You handsome, you young, 26. I I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Right, 26 is not old. I don't even feel like 36 is old. I'm, I'm so much of the mindset like, you're only as old as you feel, you know? So you could be 40. Yeah, you could be, you could be 40 and still feel like 20. You could be 20 and feel like 60. Turning 30 this year. Yes, Mike, that is my favorite emote of all time. If that, if I have to pick one emote on Twitch, that might be my number one emote. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I feel, I feel 90. <laughs> JK, you all old. No, 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 no. You all young and beautiful and amazing. All right, my friends, my incredible, magnificent, amazing friends. I'm probably going to have to call the stream here for the day um, just because I do got to get ready to go to work and open. Um, so who is the youngest chatter here? Probably don't want to answer that just because one of the rules for the chat is just no talking about age. So because we have the channel labeled as 18 plus. So yeah, so whether you're 18 or 88 or 808, I mean, if you're 808, Hit me up in the DMs. I need some of your uh, magic life formula. <laughs> but no matter how old, we got love for every single human being, my friend. It is true. I am four. <laughs> Thank you for the stream, dude. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you so much, Zach. Thank you so much, Giraffe, Ice Cream, Lolly, Level Up, Runty, all of the incredible people here, all of the magnificence here. Mr. White, Boogeyman is coming up to give all of his love. But before we head out, my friends, you know what we got to do. We got to go see who we can give some epic raid love to. Oh, dude, Runty, thank you so damn much for the follow, my friend. I super, super, super appreciate the hell out of you, my friend. All the love for every single one of you incredible legends here. So, my friends, who is streaming right now? Who shall we go raid and give some love to? Hmm, I mean... What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? We could. I mean, I mean, I mean, I was possibly thinking that the other one I was thinking. OK, the two I'm thinking of, we could go raid. Wow. I don't know what my computer's doing. 
up here let me see the two we could ra raid yourself that would be that would be wild i'd be down to raid either cranberry pudding just one of my favorite humans on the planet he's incredible i don't think okay i don't think we've raided cranberry ever I'd be down to raid Ever? I mean, or at least pudding, not in like months. Would y'all be down for a cranberry pudding? Do, okay, do we got any cranberry, cranberry uh, pudding fans in ever. chat? He's amazing. He, he's 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 ever? super fun. I mean, he's playing Street Fighter Five. Hey. Okay. I'm getting hyped. Pudding? Let's go raid cranberry pudding. He's playing Final uh, Fantasy fourteen a while back when you he's raided, amazing. but it has he's been a long time, dude. Fun. I am so Street down. It has been a minute since we've raided cranberry pudding um legitimately just one of my favorite humans on the planet y'all are in for a treat this man is 10 out of 10 incredible sauce so i don't we don't usually get a chance to raid him so i'm super hyped let's jump aboard the raid train and go give cranberry all the damn love that we can double zeph right now whoa i do see that that's funky okay we'll uh here we go we'll we'll go over to cranberry's channel yeah there we go Sorry, my computer's taking forever. It's like dying over here. It's like, why? Why you do this to me? It's playing Street Fighter V. Ooh. Do we got any yeah, Street like Fighter shit. fans in chat? I can never raid you, Zeph. Maybe one day, DJ. It's totally fine. I know we stream like opposite times of the day, so it is totally fine. Just you being here, DJ. Just all of you being here is just all the damn love in the world you all are amazing um have a great day Zeph. flower ice cream giraffe dj zach king every single one of you all of the magnificence ellie's given all her love before we head out but thank you all so much for hanging out today if you need any more zeph in your life absolutely can follow me on twitch twitter youtube instagram all the cool places TikTok, TikTok, maybe maybe that's the thing possibly <laughs> always need more zeph in my life and absolutely can join our discord as well love to have all of you let's go bring the love let's go blow up cranberries chat with all of the love emotes that you got my friends let's go raid hype oh rolling my eyes hard oh why didn't i jump holy